wanted to chat today about marijuana legalization or decriminalization. And uh, there is a difference between those two terms, and I just wanted to point that out. And first of all, I'm going to say that I think that all marijuana, all drugs should be completely unregulated by governments. Uh, they shouldn't be prohibited, etc. cetera. Uh, I have never smoked marijuana or ingested it or, or, you know, other than being around people who were, I guess I ingested a little bit through the air, secondhand uh, stuff, but um, I have never used marijuana. So I uh, kind of coming at this from a uh, uh, objective standpoint. Uh, the basics of why I think marijuana should be decriminalized is it's, it's, individuals. It's our bodies. We get to do with our bodies what we want, so long as we're not directly initiating violence against other people. So if you choose to go out and do something really silly, like eat glass, eat shards of glass, or uh, drink a bunch of the, the whiskey, or uh, smoke a bunch of the marijuanas, or uh, use some meth and, and mix it up with a good battery acid recipe, or whatever it is you like, um, I'd kind of stupid of you from my perspective. But then again, if you read uh, a, a lot of novels, I think that's kind of stupid compared to, to nonfiction. Uh, if you like to watch sports ball a bunch, yeah, I think that's kind of stupid too. But I'm probably wrong. I'm wrong about so much. So if I am, in fact, wrong about quite a few things and have been for almost 50 years now, then why in the world would I think that I should project that if you smoke marijuana, you're going to be lazy, and therefore if you're lazy, you won't work, and if you don't work, then there are going to be government officials who still want your family to have money, and then they're going to tax me more, and, and uh, in the meantime, you're going to be homeless, and that's how it's all going to play out. That's, that's ludicrous. That is so egotistically, pompously horrific for somebody to think that they can plan out or predict what's going to happen this way or that with things social. Things social are a complex system. You can't, you can't just pretend that you're going to plan the whole world out. So the fact is, if you want to go out and you want to, I don't know how you smoke it, drink it, whatever you want to do with the methamphetamines, and you want to get yourselves all hopped up on those puppies, and that brings you joy in your life, and your teeth rot out, and you don't have your job anymore, and, and you destroy your family, and, and all kinds of nasty things happen, and then you say, oh, I'm really sick, and I want to go to the hospital, and I don't have any money to go to the hospital. Well, my response to you is tough cookies. You made a bunch of bad decisions while I was making some better ones. And my friends who are vegetarians and exercise heavily, uh, well, they're making even better decisions than I was. But it's up to all of us what kind of decisions we want to make in life. And it's not up to, to me or anyone else to tell you how to live your life. You can ask, and you can probably get some great advice. Heck, you can do that online right now or in books. It's out there. For one person to force the other to do this, no, 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 no. That's 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 not cool. Okay, so difference between I, I promised I would talk about decriminalization versus legalization. If you want to legalize something, you're essentially saying, "Hey, I want the government to control this thing. I want them to make it legal, and therefore, when two people want to make an interaction with each other, I want the government to step in and steal a portion of that. They'll call it taxes or tariff or whatever." You want something legalized, you want the government involved, the government to control it, tell you how much, of what quality, of what purity, of blah, blah, blah. You want the government heavily involved in everything if you want something legalized. If you want something decriminalized, that's just saying that it's kind of like, yeah, what kind of metal you use in a blade to cut your grass. That's not, there's no law, the government doesn't involve itself in that yet. Uh, I'm sure after somebody in the government sees this video, they'll start up a Bureau of Department of Administration of Blade Material for Grass Cutting. But for now, that's not something that the government has legalized or controls. So my perspective is weed, meth, uh, alcohol, uh, anything else that somebody might put into their body, that should be an individual choice. And it should not be legalized. It should be decriminalized if it's currently regulated otherwise 
otherwise controlled by the government. So I hope that is an interesting perspective to you. I hope you have some areas of disagreement and that you'll argue with me below in an intelligent, logical way, I would ask. I, I get quite a few comments that are not, and I'm really not interested in uh, arguing any way except with reason and, and the scientific method and logic and such. But please do leave a comment below. Uh, like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you don't.